We just bought a 1908 house in Santa Ana, California that still has a lot of its original charm. We wanted to keep the authentic wood windows, but fixing them could severely eat into our bottom line. $11,000. Oh, there's no way we can keep the windows. Now, I looked at a lot of the houses in the area. They replaced with casement windows. We can keep the original framing on the interior and exterior, replace the window with new windows for $7,000. Still, that's a lot of money. $7,000? Mm-hmm. Buyers for this type of home would prefer to have the original wood windows, but this would be a huge hit to our tight budget. So we'll have to go with a cheaper option, but at least we'll be able to keep the original wood casings. Let's just replace the windows. Okay. Still a lot of money. Yeah. There's no laundry in this house. There's no real garage. We're going to have to somehow fit it in the kitchen. So we have to discuss that. So are you OK with this layout? Refrigerator, wraparound cabinets, counters, sink, sink dishwasher. dishwasher, stove, microwave. Okay. Close off this window on the right so we can get more cabinets and counter space here. OK. All no right. window. Washer and dryer in that corner. Will that work? Well, you would have to box off this corner and then you'd have room for a small cabinet on the other side. What is that going to run? You're looking at about $5,000. OK, so we're, we are going to create indoor laundry then, right? We have to. The only problem is, once we bring this indoor laundry in, we're going to lose the eating area in the kitchen. So well, when we stage the house, we'll have to stage one in the living room. OK, I, I think it's fine. I think it's more important to have indoor laundry here than a little table. Agreed. It's brand new. You know what, Frank? It looks a lot better. Glad we closed off the window. And adding a stackable laundry in here didn't take up that much space. And the new windows are in, too. I'm just glad we can keep the original casings. It looks great, but now we just need to talk design. As you can see, there's a lot of black and white. Mm -hmm. The reason behind that is because, you know, we're in a really retro house. And I think it'd be cool to keep that like vintage look and do black and white where we can. So that's why I was thinking a black and white bathroom and then incorporating some black and white throughout the rest of the house. Basically, I was thinking white subway, but instead of standard size, we do an oversized subway tile. So the oversized subway tile will be the entire shower. Right. OK. And then I really think this is super cool. So if we incorporate a black liner and then do a couple more rows of white subway on top, sort of like this picture, and then we could just line it with just a simple white bull nose. So you're talking about Tiling the wall, too, not just the shower? Right, because the bathroom's small. It's the only bathroom in the house. I feel like it's going to look too plain if we only do the shower, so we can carry this design throughout the whole bathroom as like a wainscoting. And I love this floor right here. I like these little black pieces, and I think that'll kind of tie the whole design together. OK, so if we do the black and white theme, are you going to do you want to go black counters or white counters? I was thinking white cabinets and gray and white marble countertops. For both the bathroom and the kitchen? Right. When we get into the mosaics and the smaller pieces, it's expensive, yeah. expensive, expensive. Is it? Small, small, small bathroom, and there's one of them. It takes longer to put together, longer to cut. I totally get that, but the, I... the flooring's like this big. I mean, seriously, come on, one person fits in there. We've been doing houses a long time. I gave up the fight a long time ago, so whatever you want. I really think this is going to keep the character of the house, and buyers in the area are going to love it. What do you want to do about this patio? I definitely cannot leave. I think the porch is like one of the cutest parts of the house. So I'd say I think slate would be a good option, just like a simple gray slate. So just slate the whole patio? Yeah, I think okay. that'd be cute. And then we need to figure out paint color. For the historic houses, I think it's important that it stands out, especially in this neighborhood. Look around. I mean, honestly, there's like a maroon house. There's a green house. So there are a lot of funky colors. So yeah. what colors are you thinking? Dark navy. Really pretty, and then do the trim white. I like the trim because it's pretty thick. 
So I think just white trim, navy paint, and then we can pick a color for the front door. I do like navy blue and white, because it will go with the gray yeah. slate. I think that'd be really cute. Frank, what is going on here? The siding, we have some really bad areas down low all around the house. Uh oh. There's a lot of dry rot on the bottom because it didn't have the proper flashing. Oh. Some of the areas come up about this high in the back and in the side. So pretty much it's not right here, it's around the whole house. Correct. What do you think it's gonna run? You're looking at about $8,000. Wait, what? This isn't a product that you can just go anywhere and buy. This older home has been nickeling and diming us from the start. So of course it needs wood siding repair before we can paint. Older homes just have more problems than we expected, lesson learned. Oh, that's kind of cool. I thought they were individual slats, so they come in planks. Yeah. for being such a small bathroom and the only one in the house, we definitely really blew it out of the water here. Looks amazing. The best thing in here is the height of the ceilings because the space looks huge. Yeah, I'm glad we spent the extra money to tile all the way up the shower wall and sides. Yeah, and buyers are gonna love that we came all the way across walls too. What do you think about the flooring? It has that vintage look. It actually goes perfect with the house. Gosh, looks great. Looks good, right? Buyers are gonna be obsessed with it. Should be done today. Looks awesome. The kitchen is huge. Oh well, yeah, you know what? This entire house has these gigantic 12-foot ceilings, so everything appears bigger even though the space isn't huge, you know? What are we doing for flooring? For flooring, we're going with like a rich, dark laminate that looks very similar to a real wood that would have been used back in the early 1900s. So it has a lot of small planks, but then also has wide planks. It's totally different than anything we've ever done, but I think it definitely goes with the retro look. All right, so it's gonna have a lot of different variations. Exactly, and it's a nice, rich, dark color, which I think will make all the white and gray feel less cold. Yeah, it needs a little bit of brown in here because everything is so white. I'm loving how our classic home is turning out. We definitely have curb appeal now. But inside, I think our living dining room is missing a few details. I've decided to add a chalkboard accent wall to highlight the biggest wall in the room and add a nice chandelier. I'm hoping these inexpensive design ideas will make the room fun for kids while still making it modern for adults. Nice white fence. Hey, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like a dream come true. Room for her to play and run around. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good. So we just put the house on the market today. Okay. Uh, four bedroom, one bath. It's about 1,100 square feet or so. And we're listed at 424.9. Go ahead, take a look yeah. inside and let me know if you have questions. Thank you. Wow. Oh, this is spacious. Great. The ceilings make it look pretty big in here. Yeah, but I like that the size is good. It's like perfect for the three of us. Look at the chalkboard, Lincoln. You could do all your artwork up there. I love the kitchen. Wow, and look at this backsplash. This was really nice. What is this space? Washer dryer. I love that window. I love how big it is. It yeah. brings in so much light here. 